Acoustic is the most complicated subject when it comes to home cinema room, yet it is the most critical subject or element to enhance the audio performance of your home cinema room. And to make things easy for you, like always, I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will be talking about acoustics and I am going to break it into very very easy aspect for you so that you can also start that acoustic planning effectively. Now let us first understand why is acoustics important. Now I am sure many of you would say that when I open up my speakers connected to the amplifier, the home theatre system sounds good. But acoustics adds greatness to the sound and that is where it acts like a bridge between good sound and a great sound experience. Now if you don't do acoustics, some of the challenges that you will always feel in your room is the bass being very very boomy in the room. Secondly, you will see a little narrow or at times a more wide sound stage. And thirdly, you will see sound reflecting off various surfaces, which is creating a muffled sound, losing out on the clarity specially required for your dialogues and for listening small, small elements in a movie experience. And that's where acoustics really is a bridge between good sound and great sound. Okay, wondering why these two projectors are here in our acoustic video? Well, this is to just give you a hint as to what is coming up next on our channel. We have got a live differentiation that we are going to do between Epson LS12000B and the Sony XW5000ES. Both are laser projectors and are very very close in price as well as in performance and we are going to see who is the real winner. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button now with the bell notifications turned on to watch this video. There are three pillars of acoustics in home cinema room. The first one is absorption, the second one is diffusion and the third one is bass management. Now all of these three things are required in any home cinema room acoustics to get the best experience. The first one, let's talk more about it, which is absorption. Now absorption is where you start using acoustic panels that absorb unwanted sound reflections. Now these happen through your walls, your flooring, your ceiling, even your back walls. So all of these extra unwanted sound reflections need to be absorbed so that you get more clearer audio, which is from your dialogues or vocals. And you also get music, which is far more balanced than anything. The second pillar is diffusion. Now in this second pillar, what you do is you use diffuser boards or diffuser panels to scatter sound evenly across the room. Now when you do this, what happens is that you get a more spacious and a natural feel in the cinema room, making you feel as if you are part of the action. Now the third pillar is bass traps or bass management. In this, you use bass traps so that you can control the overpowering low frequencies, specially reflecting off from the corner surfaces of your room creating in a loud boominess which makes people feel irritated while listening to a movie and they feel like going more into a calmer zone. Also, bass traps are used so that you can have more tight and accurate punches and the bass will not stay in the room for a longer time. Now that we are clear on these three pillars of acoustics, let us try to understand how and where do you place these acoustic panels in your home cinema room. The first one is to understand the placement of the absorptive surfaces or the absorption. Now, the first and the foremost thing that you would want to do in your home cinema room, especially in absorption, is that you would want to absorb the first and at times the second reflection angles on the side walls, on the floor, as well as on the ceiling. Now, these are the surfaces wherein the sound is going to quickly bounce off and is going to reach your ears through an extra longer length which is going to give you an echo kind of experience. Now to cut down on these echoes and reverberations, you need to use absorptive panels in this first or second reflective angles or surfaces. The second tip is for diffusers. Now diffusers are panels which are generally used in your surround space. Why do I say that? Well, in your surround areas where you have your Atmos speakers as well as surround speakers, the sound that you get from this is the background score of the content. And the background score needs to be active in that environment and it will stay active only when you diffuse that surround sound properly. So that is why diffusers need to be used in your surround spaces to make you feel as if you are part of that action for a very very long and a very very nice time. And at the same time, if you want to increase the sound space or the sound stage of your room, especially for those who have got narrow but elongated rooms, in such cases, we also recommend to use the diffuser boards on your first reflection angles so that you can make the sound stage a little wider compared to the narrow room that you have. 
Now for base straps, as mentioned earlier, they need to be in the corner because that is where you have multiple surfaces coming together and that is where the low frequencies are going to start disturbing you. So make sure to use these foam base straps in your corners, especially towards the ceiling to avoid the low frequencies overpowering in your home theater. For the floors, the best thing that people use is carpet. But underneath the carpet, try to use these rubber hitlon sheets, which are a combination of rubber and foam, which can act like good dampener at the same time. It increases the cushion for your carpet and carpet is the best material to take care of your floor reflections. And if at all you are increasing the steps and you don't want to use carpet over there, then wooden panel or wooden surfaces can be used so that they can also start acting like diffusers in your surround areas. Now, if this was about the walls and the floor, how can we forget the ceiling? Well, for the ceiling, what you can do is you can start using cloud-based ceiling patterns or those wooden bands that can run around the ceiling, creating a gap or a hollowness in the middle. And that's how you can try to take care of the sound from the ceiling by having a mixture of absorption as well as diffusion. Especially for those of you who are treating the walls and the floor and not treating the ceiling, you can also go ahead with a good quality fall ceiling, which is gypsum fall ceiling. But underneath that, try to use foam panels for absorption and try to use diffuser boards for diffusing the sound in the surround area. These are very lightweight and you can easily paste them onto your ceiling. Now let's talk about some of the common mistakes that I have seen people doing in their home cinema room acoustics. The first thing is going overboard with absorptive panels because with absorptive panels across the walls, you are just going to make the room sound lifeless. Yes, it's going to sound dead and you don't want to have that. You should have a mixture of absorption and diffusion in your cinema room to bring that jan and that experience back properly. Also to those of you who are planning for a full wall framing and paneling, well do that. I know it is more to do with your room design and less to do with acoustics because for acoustics you don't have to treat each and every square foot. You can have the panelings done in bits and pieces or you can have full walls wrapped with fabric but when you do that try to plan for the material that you're putting inside you should not have all the walls covered with your foam and your gripper system it needs to have a little bit of diffuser boards as well similarly don't forget that you have your furniture also coming into the room especially your sofas recliners they are going to absorb sound if you're doing it in the living room your recliners or the sofas are again there. Along with that, you can put rugs or carpets on the floor. And a curtain is a perfect element to have for acoustics, irrespective if it's in the living room, bedroom, or even in a cinema room. Now, I'm sure by now you would agree with me that acoustic is really important. And acoustics is not just for audiophiles, but even for those of you who are very serious about your home cinema rooms, you need to start looking at acoustics properly. And in case you are short on your budget, then please start with the basics, go small, treat the basics and you will see a world of great difference. And as I said, acoustic is going to make your room sound great instead of just good. So please do that. And in case you want our team to help you with it, then please check the links that are shared in the description as well as pinned comment because we have got our 2D and 3D design services which will take care of designing these acoustic surfaces as well as planning for acoustics in your room properly. So don't forget to do that while I Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much.